Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I want to show you this little guy. It's a Stirling engine. As you may know, if you visit my channel regularly, I have made several Stirling engines in previous videos. Uh, the link for those videos is in the description of this video if you want to check them. But this one was sent to me by the company Engine Die. They have an extensive catalog of different types of engines. Very, very interesting if you want to check their page. The link is also on the description of this video. And this one in particular is a low temperature Stirling engine. That means that it can run on a very low differential temperature. You can run the engine from a cup of coffee, for example. And it really surprised me the quality of this little engine. It is very well built, all metal, and what is very interesting is the linkage mechanism of the two pistons. You can see that we have two gears in there. And the engine runs very, very smooth. That means that all the surfaces are very polished and everything is in balance. And the engine runs very, very well, as you will see in a moment. Okay, now I have this cup with hot water. Let's check the temperature is not very hot, like water for your coffee. 62 degrees Celsius, but it should be enough for the motor to work. Let's put it above. It has to reach its working temperature and then we need to give it an initial push. Okay. Not hot enough. Yes, there it goes. Okay, it is now moving. Let me turn it around for you to see the movement of the gears. Really nice to see the gears working to move the two pistons. And of course, it will continue to rotate until the water cools off. It is going fast. Maybe it's around 100 RPM, a little bit more. Okay, there you have it, a very nice little Stirling engine of low temperature. Very well built, I like it a lot. So if you want to check the different models, you can visit the website. The address is in the description of this video. Hope you liked this video, thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.